As they became more consumed with hacking, Electron and Phoenix sought more powerful hacking tools to break into more and more computers. The most powerful tool at the time was called Zardoz. Zardoz was a newsletter that was regularly emailed to computer security professionals. It was a record of all the known computer security holes in operating systems, often with detailed instructions on how to exploit them. Zardoz was seen amongst the hacker community as the holy grail. In February 1990, after several hours of trying, Electron finally succeeded in breaking into a computer belonging to Australia's leading scientific research organisation, CSIRO, where he found a complete archive of Zardoz. The only thing that stopped me grabbing it there and then was my modem. It would have taken me hours to download it at 30 characters a second. Not wanting to risk losing such a valuable prize, Electron compressed the Zardoz archive and hid it in a temporary directory on the CSIRO machine. He then started to mail backup copies to accounts he'd hacked at Melbourne University. The university system administrator then warned his CSIRO colleague. prevented the mail from being delivered, the system administrator had failed to notice that Electron's original copy of Zardoz was still hidden on the CSIRO machine. The access details for the machine are mis1.csiro.au, username C Brown, the password is Geronimo. Thanks. See ya. I probably wouldn't have given Phoenix Zardoz if I didn't need him to download it. But his modem was eight times less risky for him to download it than it was for me. Phoenix decided to use the even faster connection from the University of Texas in order to retrieve the Zardoz file from the CSIRO computer. At one stage he found that there wasn't enough drive space on the machine at the University of Texas. shudder to think what he deleted. Phoenix had a habit of indiscriminate deletion. Yes. Yep, we got it. Great. I'm still learning arena. It's a damn big file. <laughs> 